So today we're going to talk about magnetic fields. A magnetic field is basically a force field. It is an invisible area of force that extends all around a magnet. The uppercase N side is highlighted to indicate that it's the magnet's north pole. The uppercase S side is highlighted to indicate it's the magnet's south pole. In fact, if you cut a magnet in half, the two magnets you're left with both have north and south poles. It's true that opposites attract. A north pole will attract a south pole, but try to get one north pole together with another north pole and they're just not interested. You can force them together, but they repel each other. There is no limit to the distance at which a magnetic force can be exerted. It just gets weaker the farther away it is. Not all metals are attracted to magnets. It depends on the composition of the metal. Magnetic field lines represent the magnetic field. They are lines that we draw on maps but do not exist in real life. So they are imaginary lines similar to the equator. These lines will never cross. A compass is a really simple tool. It has a small needle made of iron or steel. The needle is actually a magnet with a north pole and a south pole. It is balanced on a smooth pivot so that it can swing around freely. Compasses work because the earth has its own magnetic field with magnetic north and south poles, slightly offset from the geographic poles. It pulls at lightly balanced pieces of metal like a compass needle, and that's why a compass needle always points north. Potential energy is stored energy that an object has because of its position or condition, like that small rock on top of the boulder. It's related to kinetic energy, which is the energy of that an object has be, because of its motion. The simple difference between the two is that only moving objects have kinetic energy. When you raise something above its original position, it has the ability to fall because of gravity. Potential energy can also be stored in springs. If a spring is compressed or stretched, this is an example of elastic energy. Potential energy can be stored in a magnetic field and then converted into kinetic energy. Notice that the stronger magnet has picked up more nails. A stronger magnet will have a stronger force and consequently more potential energy. Keep this in mind as you move through the explorations in this unit. And that's magnetic fields.